Oh, those are beautiful. All right, I've got two nice long bolts that fit these well enough. And we also have two other sticks. It looks like I have just enough stuff to mount these. I better make sure this actually fits. All right, yes. So, obviously it doesn't go up here. It's going to go at the other end down there. How am I going to attach those? Basically, I just need four holes. And then put that in there with a bit of spacer stuff. Not complicated. How am I going to do it, though? These holes need to be lined up really, really, really well. I think this is going to be easier if I take the whole thing and flip it upside down so the feet are up at the top. All right. Flip this thing over. That way first. Should make it pretty easy. It just goes right there. Drill a hole somewhere around there. Yeah. All right, I think I have a pretty good way of lining up all my holes. I've got a, a measurement on this thing to measure how far left and right it should be. And I can put that here and then I can put that on the other side. And that'll give me the measurement for how far this way and then the, the other measurement is this pipe down this much Lego. And that's where I put the center line. And yeah. And I'll, when I put a pipe on this one, I'll just have to make sure it's parallel to this one. And then if I do a good job drilling my holes, I'll center punch them first then the wheels should all be lined up pretty close. Um, and there, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to make one of the wheels adjustable, just, you know, for fine tuning. Unless I get really lucky. <laughs> I can't, luck, really? This time, yeah, get luck. Oh. Ah, so nice. Oh, that is beauty. So good. It's gonna be clear that and that, nice. Now, where do I wanna put the wheel? Over there, over here, in the middle? Maybe, maybe toward the outside. I don't know, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's lined up with the one at the other end. Uh, let me get the rest of the holes drilled before I worry about spacers. Okay. This is not the right sized pipe. But it should give me a decent idea if they're lined up. Oh wow, that, I think those are pretty darn close. All right, spacers. Uh, maybe I'll put a washer right there so I can push against the inner part of the bearing there. And then just cut a piece of tubing to fit there. File it to make sure it fits perfectly. Is there a smudge on my camera screen or the lens? Hopefully the screen, not the lens. All right. Yeah, I'll just leave these on the outside so the track can be a little bit further from, you know, where everything's going to be cut. All right, I wiped off my lens. I think that is a little better. I must have touched it. Oh, 
Oh, that's too uh -oh. Alright, I put a lock washer in here just to keep a bit of pressure and then just a little piece of tubing there. And if I don't make it too tight, I want it to be snug but not tight. Oh, nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Doesn't wiggle at all. Rolls nice and smooth. Oh, that is beauty. Oh, this is going to roll so nice when I get it on the track. Oh, that is great. That's a technique I learned many, many years ago when I was like, Eight, and they used to make little robots out of popsicle sticks and coat hangers. What? Let's check this out. Oh, this is going to be so nice. All right. Oh, I got to do it. Oh, so smooth. Oh, last time I made one of these. I made the wheels kind of like using a drill as a lathe and just like a file and a grinder or something. Man, these wheels are slick. Well, as far as I can tell, I think it's ready to use. I think, I don't know, this is the part where it's weird. It's like, <clears throat> I've made all these individual pieces and I think I've done each piece right as I was going. And supposedly, when I put them all together, turn the darn thing on, it should actually do something. And there's a few little things to work out, like, you know, locking the blade in the different positions. But, you know, it's just little details like that. For the most part, like, I should be able to use it, like, right now, as long as it's got power. And two pipes to roll on, which are already up on the hill. Oh, oh man. All right, let me see what time it is. I probably need to... I'll probably wait till tomorrow to move this thing outside because I think it's getting late. Late afternoon, not, not late, late. You know what? It's only 3.15. Let's get that thing outside. Okay, the back right side up. heavier than I was expecting. Totally movable. <laughs> Jerk. Get on there. Okay. Put these two on. Oh, man. Oh, that is beautiful. 
Ah, yeah. Oh, cripes, which way do I want this? I was thinking this way. But, I don't know. All right, I think that's good. if I got that back to parallel. Oh, wow, I did. Ooh, nice. It's totally lined up still. Great. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I just put the, uh, attached the cables back where it looked like they'd been. They're totally lined up. All right, Skip. I guess I need to put some brakes on this thing. It's gonna roll away on me. Oh, I guess all I need is the saw on here, and well, I don't want to put it out here yet because it might rain tonight. All right, maybe that's good enough for brakes for the moment. I'm gonna stick in front of that one. Holy cannoli! I never thought I'd be cutting. Wood in such a beautiful place. Ah, oh, so nice. 